Oh no, Rita and Zed are at it again. Tommy, can you summon the Dragon Zord for a backup? You got it, guys. Time to call on Dragon Zord power. <laughs> Uh, Tommy, that's not the Dragon Zord. Uh, Tommy. Tommy! Oh crap, my bad. This isn't my Dragon Dagger. This one says Made in Japan. What up, big kids? Here's your big review the Super Robot Chagokin Daijujin, aka the Dino Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers by Bandai Japan. You got the packaging for it. It's a Super Robot Chagokin. Uh, warning, you don't want to choke on your Chagokin. Oh, that sounds so bad. Anyway, um, you see the nice epic picture of the Dino Megazord. I'm going to call him the Dino Megazord. Now, I know this is Daijujin from Super Sentai, and it's meant to be that uh, from Super Sentai Z Ranger, uh, which is what Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is based on but I didn't know that for many years uh, when I watched my Morphin Power Rangers back in the 90s I'm a my Morphin Power Rangers fan I've seen the Sentai that's awesome believe me it's probably even better than the American series but I got this because I'm a my Morphin fan so I'm gonna refer to it as the Dino Megazord and I'm not gonna call it by the Japanese name so hope you don't mind anyway so yeah you can even see here uh, it says the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 20th anniversary. Wow, 20 years old, and I feel even older. Nice picture of the Dino Megazord right there um, going down. Other side has more Japanese warning labels. Yay! Back of the box has the Dino Megazord in very epic poses with all his different features and weapons, like his power sword and his mammoth shield. We need Dai, uh, Dai, uh, Dai, uh, uh, uh Megazord. So here we got the Dino Megazord looking epic. Oh my God, this thing is beautiful. Let's take a closer look at it. Bandai Japan has an amazing job on their Super Robot Chikokin line. It, um, when they heard that they were announcing this figure and this is coming out for the 20th anniversary of Power Rangers, I had to get it. Um, the paint apps are just absolutely amazing, like on the head, the horns. Uh, this is also meant to be more show accurate, unlike the Dino Megazord that actually combines, whether it's the original 90s one or the one that came out in 2010. Uh, this one will not come apart, so just to let you know, but it is made with very nice shiny plastic and die cast metal, which is in the chest and in the legs here. So it's a pretty heavy figure for its size. Um, but yeah, you can see here the paint apps for the Mastodon shoulder pads and it continues down on here which is very cool and it has the Master Dawn like uh, little cannons that they use in the you know the Megazord uh, attack mode and you got the Transaurus Rex tail folded in right there very nice yeah the paint is just very awesome even for the joints they look really good and for the fingers uh, this is definitely more a streamline it has that boxy look but definitely more posable and yeah definitely doesn't totally look like a guy would be under a suit here but yeah the saber tooth tiger head looks amazing the wheels it'd be it's so freaking cool and then even has the treads for the tri triceratops and leathering yeah this this detail like the triceratops head is absolutely gorgeous it's just Bandai really outdone themselves with this. You know, Megazord has tons of articulation, which this line is known for. The head is on this awesome ball joint that fully rotates, so let's go up and down. It has uh, two separate neck joints, a ball jointed a head joint that can go side to side, whereas the neck that can go forward and back. Uh, this thing I have to show out. This thing that you kind of saw in Power Rangers, I think I did, but I don't know if I remember, but the shoulder cannon things, it's on two separate ball joints, one here, one here fully rotate and you can make them like in his uh, shoulder cannon mode which just looks badass freaking cool love that so you can uh, bring them down here the arms fully rotate you can bring the shoulder pads they go in and out kind of like the transformation sequence so it goes all the way down the shoulders can go in and out even more so on this ratchety joint uh, they rotate at the bicep right here they bend at not one but two points at the elbow which is awesome I love that um, his hands go in and out kind of like due to the transformation even though this doesn't transform and the wrist fully rotate and go in and out so really great he does have a waist joint that rotate, just moves left to right just a little bit and if you lift this up here it has a really nice uh, ab crunch goes forward and back 
um, only back a little, uh, but forward pretty much, and can move left, right a little bit, but then you can bring that back down. And then um, he does have leg joints that can move forward. You move, bring this up for the flap, so you can move the legs forward and back, and he can go in and out on this nice, you know, this all die cast. Rotates the other part of the leg right here. Bends it not one, but two points at the knee at there and there, which is awesome. And this is so cool. You can, uh, for each of the feet, um, it, you can bring that down and it can be f fully uh, rotate. Not f well, not fully, but can rotate left and right and move this uh, the saber tooth tiger legs out to make it like kind of a heel when you're bending it back. So you can have it back there a little bit, make it more posable. And also with the triceratops, you can also bring that back to give it more of a heel thing so it can rotate and it has ankle pivots. Triceratops head can move like really forward to like I said do that deep kind of stance thing which is very awesome. I know Megazord comes with these instructions on how to place everything. They're all in Japanese so but um, pretty much the pictures can show you how things go. I know Megazord comes with three pairs of hands, two fisted hands that came on the figure, two open hands and two um, um, weapon holding hands which upon there they're pretty easy to change just be very careful on them like any Hot Toys or Bandai Japan figure. He comes with the Mastodon head shield that of course he used and is part of the Mastodon. Has a nice handle that fits in there. The tusks um, are very cool. The nose unfortunately are, um, doesn't uh, go uh, articulate at all but so very nice paint apps on him. He comes with the power sword which is very nice and pointy. Um, very nice shimmery paint and a nice uh, hilt. It's really cool and what's also cool is that when he does his uh, little lightning strike he comes with this little lightning uh, attachment. Has very nice paint apps. It's a little bit ridiculous but man does it look so cool when he has it in his hand. And he comes with these little head lasers that he shoots out from his horn. It's very nice and articulated. It comes in separate pieces so you can um, you know make it come from two different points and there it's very delicate so be careful with it but it looks very cool the blue and pink lightning. You can see the Dino Megazord is ready to take some names and chew some bubblegum and he's all out of gum. Good job Rangers we saved Angel Grove for the 37th time in a row. Right! Oh, oh my god are you the Megazord? That's mega awesome because I'm Servo. I'm from Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. You know, you're really awesome and like we were in the same kind of series back in the 90s. Oh my god you're so- Oh my god this dude's giving me a headache. Make a cool one, baby. Ah, uh, much better. He's still better than Mass Rider. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Super Robot Chikogen um, Dino Megazord is in good scale with other uh, like lines by Bandai. You can see um, with other like Gridman, which is Super Humor Samurai Servo, or Monster Arts like uh, Mecha Godzilla. You can see it is a little bit shorter than a standard six inch figure. It's more like five and a half inch as it's a little shorter than the Mark VI Iron Man. See how much smaller than it's the 2010 Megazord. And you can see how much bigger than it's a 334 inch figure like the Green Ranger. If you're a fan of Mind Morphin Power Rangers or Z Ranger and you love the, the Megazords, you'll definitely will love this figure. Oh my god, it's absolutely amazing. I love the die cast, the paint, the detail, the, uh, the articulation is insane. Now if you want a Megazord that can actually transform and separate into the Dino Zords, then um, this is not the, um, the Megazord for you. But like I said, if you want a super posable, um, fun, uh, really nicely built Megazord, this is uh, what is what you want. Oh, well, um, you. This will be available over. I got this from Amazon, and it's available overseas as well as in the U.S. for the 20th anniversary of Power Rangers. Get this for about 50, 53 bucks. This is not bad at all. Like from Amazon, 53 bucks shipped. That was great. Um, but the accessories you get and the detail of craftsmanship. Oh man, this is definitely a Mind Morphin Power Rangers Megazord Dream Country. Like I said, it doesn't separate into the single Zords, but I said for just a awesome looking Megazord, it would have been cool if it was a little bit bigger, but I don't mind it. It's just a standard in Bandai Japan releases, so I'm really happy with it. And like I said, I highly recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Name in a big way. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Hey,
Excuse me, he was saying he gets them at alterego.comics.com. <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alteregocomics.com. They take PayPal, pre order and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys. You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKB and not that! Go to BKB and not that! Go to BKB and not that! I tell you to go! Go down! Hey guys, we got on the wrong foot. Come on, we were both popular in the 90s. We can definitely combine our forces to be the superhuman, mighty morphin, samurai, power rangers. What do you think? You know what? You're right. Let's celebrate our union with some pizza. You want a slice? Would I? That would be more phenomenal. You asked for it. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Forget Boy Meets World. It's all about Boy Meets Power Sword. Right.